What's going on YouTube? I'm finally back. I know I've been telling you guys that I was going to come back and do a review on Covenant. Um, I've been working with Covenant now going on nine months. Um, so I guess I'll just fill y'all in about, you know, how things are going. I should have been uploaded this video, but I just been tired, to be honest with you. Um, but I guess we'll start from the get beginning. But before we get started, I need you guys to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so we can keep everything moving, uh, keep everything going. So let's start. All right, so um, when I started with Covenant, about nine months ago I had absolutely no experience so I was nervous I got my CDLs um, through the military um, and I had never driven an 18 wheeler I've driven you know up armored vehicles um, or whatever so I was nervous 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 um, but when I got there and I went to orientation and I did uh, my uh, road test I actually did pretty good it actually felt just like the trucks that I've driven in uh, the military so it, it was easy. So all you veterans out there that don't have actual um, semi-truck experience, you guys can do it. Don't let it scare you. The only thing that you'll probably have to overcome is the backing because it's different from backing up an armored vehicle and backing up a semi-truck. But you can get it. I'm, I'm still working on it. You may not get it right away. So don't let it frustrate you. Within time, you'll get to uh, get backing down. There's still people that's been driving for years and still have problems with backing so i try not to let it discourage me so don't let it discourage you keep keep at it keep practicing you'll get it at, at some point in time of your uh of driving um but when i i came in you know uh covenant is a team and company i didn't come in with a partner um my i have had so far since i've been with Covenant, i've had two partners my first partner i actually met in training um she was cool or whatnot you know we still have each other's numbers follow each other on social media and everything um, the reason why uh, we no longer partnered is because she didn't like the idea of us splitting everything down the middle as far as uh, mileage covenant does not split the pay down the middle the only thing that you split with your partner is the total miles that you guys drive so my partner didn't like that idea I think she preferred her whole thing was that she preferred to be a solo driver so that's what she did and she moved on so I knew she was leaving and she gave me the time to find another partner now my second partner that I found uh, I actually found on the uh, on Facebook there's a, a covenant Facebook group that I joined and I just post on there and said that I was looking for a partner I'm located in Atlanta Georgia and uh, I wanted a partner in, in Atlanta. So whenever we decided to have home time, it would have been easy to have home time because it's hard to have home time to always be home, home, go home during home time if you guys live so far apart. They will not allow you to drop someone off. Let's say, I don't know, um, I think it's no more than 250 miles apart. So it's best to have a partner that lives um, within the same city or state is you so you guys can have actual home time at home um, if you don't care about home time um, you can of course get a driver that's somewhere else in another state and you can always have your home time at the truck or if you get a hotel wherever you guys decide to have your home time um, but I found my second partner on Facebook in the Covenant Facebook group um, she we stayed that we actually uh drove we we ended up connecting and everything else um but as i said when i first came into covenant i wasn't um you know that good at backing i had no training at backing and my second partner I, before we actually linked up and she came onto the truck i let her know you know i'm new i got you know everything about me pretty much i just got my license i'm not good at backing so be prepared for that so i think um you know I, I guess i have a heavy foot so the truck would shake and you know whenever you're moving your partner is in the back resting so i guess it would keep her up or also she had um she was already with covenant when she came on she was out on medical leave due to you know i guess she had been in a couple of accidents so she was already traumatized from partnering or whatnot so i guess you know my back and scales or the truck moving you know jerking or whatever it frightened her and uh and she voiced her opinion about how she felt about it and 
you know, with my last experience with my first partner, I was like, dang, she might leave. And I had to keep on moving because my bills don't stop. So I was like, I reached out uh, to Covenant and let them know, you know, I, I might do that. At, well, it was a, actually inquiring about um, solo driving because, uh, you know, Covenant has a, a sister company called Landair and there's, they have uh, solo routes. So I went to inquiring about uh, solo driving. Um, because I already got wind that my partner uh, was possibly considering maybe getting off the truck because I guess I kept her up for my driving. Um, and I couldn't, uh, if she left, it would have put me in a hole and I have a mortgage, you know, I have all kinds of bills, so I couldn't allow that to happen. So I, I just put some fillers out just to inquire. So if she did decide to leave, I had a backup plan. So, um, after we went home, because we was on a, a, a dedicated route, I think we, I think we may have had some leave or something happened. But when I reached out um, and crying about solo, Covenant ended up hitting me up and said, "Hey, we got this route. It's perfect. There's uh, a route that is a dedicated route, and now uh, you can stay on with Covenant. You can keep your truck or whatnot, and it's a dedicated route from Atlanta to Orlando, and it's perfect because you live in Atlanta, so you'll be able to be home, do your 34-hour reset at home every weekend, so you're just out for a week, and on Saturday, you're home, you do your 34-hour reset, so it sound good to me, it sound good, it had guaranteed pay, and I had uh, PTO, so paid time off, um, and I was like, that's unheard of, because Covenant don't have paid time off, they grant you leave, but it's not paid. So once I got the information, I um, told my second partner about it. She was like, oh, okay, well, just keep me updated or whatever. And uh, so she could start making her moves. So I, uh, I let them know. I said, okay, well, I'm interested in, in doing it or whatnot. And because uh, she seemed to be cool with it or whatever. But I guess Covet was trying to get the position filled right away. So unfortunately, um, after we finished, I think that week, I think we finished a week. I can't really remember. Then we finished the re week of the route that we were on, and um, they told me that I would have to start the route. So it kind of put her in a bind. We had a heart to heart to talk about it because she felt like, you know, just the way it went down, it just it, it, it just happened so fast. It put her in a bind to where she had to find a new partner or whatnot. And we had a we get, was able to square everything away, and we talked about it. I hated the way that things went, but if she was thinking about getting off the truck i had to make a move for me and we both agreed i even offer i told her i can I, i'll tell them if i if i need to because i know she needed to find a new partner if i could see if they could give me another week and hold the route for me but she was like no go ahead and take it so i end up taking it um i've been on this truck by myself uh for a few months now um and i love it love it love it i prefer to be a solo driver so uh, for a few months I've been driving back and forth on a dedicated route from uh, Atlanta to Orlando Florida and then Orlando Florida back to Atlanta and, and so forth for throughout the week um, I'm still is giving me a chance to be able to work on my back end I'm getting better and better as the time go by I know they I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next I know um, after having a, a year of experience, it opens up a lot of doors. A lot of co um, companies require you to have at least a year of experience. And there's some out there that require you to have two years of experience. But I don't know. I'm just sitting up here thinking this dedicated route is sweet. You know, I get to come home. I be, I'm able to be in Atlanta for the weekend. So I get to see my family. And, you know, the refrigerators are small. So all I got to do is buy like a, worth, a week worth of food. Or what night um when i first started the pay was it was a guaranteed 1350 pay and that's gross um or whatnot so after taxes i think it was like a, a little bit below a thousand that i was making a week and i was telling them like man i this ain't enough i can't do this i can't do this so i called you know my dispatchers trying to work some out to see if maybe they can give me a pay increase i was reaching out to land there it's like i need to make more money this ain't gonna work for me i got bills you know this this ain't it you know the route is sweet but i need to make more money because i don't get paid by the miles i get paid uh it's a guaranteed pay it was 1350 so after a lot of talking or whatever he was i guess had a meeting with whoever he had a meeting with and they was able to increase my guaranteed pay to 1500 
um, which you know is is doable. I mean, uh, I would rather net fifteen hundred a week minimum rather than gross. Um, but I was like, you know, let me just get my year of experience and and then figure out what my next move would be. So. And in the midst of trying to figure out what my next move is, just keep on practicing my back end and getting to learn the truck and learning as much as I can learn. So once I do decide, because I, I wouldn't mind going OTR. Once I decide to go o OTR, I have a little bit more experience in my, under my belt. Uh, my back end would be a little better, so I wouldn't be as nervous to back up to the dock or do it back up to wherever they need me to back up to. Um, by myself because I'll be then doing everything. I'll be by myself. I won't have a partner to ask questions or to learn from. It'll be all on me. It'll be learn as I go. So I'm still practicing. I'm learning. I'm learning. Um, but I've been researching and just trying to find that company where I can make, you know, 15. I need a minimum of 1500 net bringing home 1500 dollars a month i've considered uh leasing but i've been hearing so much um negative uh comments about leasing at this time i guess the industry isn't good right now but then you have people like the industry is never going to be good it's always going to be an up and down industry so you just need to jump in there and and just do it but i'd rather get a little bit more experience so uh, um, at this time i'm still uh doing my research while i'm fulfilling my year of experience with covenant um Depending on how that goes, I mean, I have a couple of companies in mind, but I, I'm going to continue to do my research. And once I decide to make a move, I will most definitely uh, it, it update you guys on who I went with, how that process go as far as orientation or, or what have you. Um, since I've been with Covenant, I have uh, had to do a random twice. Uh, I had a video about it before if you guys want to go back and watch that video But my first time was with my last partner. We were in uh, In California and they called us and, and had a had a lift come and pick me up and take me to uh, um, a medical center to go get tested and then I just recently got tested while I've uh, been solo Maybe I think it's been a few weeks or to a month ago uh, out here in Atlanta where they had me uh, lifted to a, uh, a medical center out here in Atlanta um, so Covenant don't play about that so you guys be on your P's and Q's I've made it through the blitz uh, on this route um, I was fortunate enough not I hadn't didn't get pulled over and didn't have to be inspected um, with this route I start my shift uh, on Sunday at 8 p.m. Uh, in Atlanta and then I have to have the load deliver in Orlando, Florida by 6 a.m. So it's ample amount of time to be able to get the load here. Um, I do like the route, as I said, because driving back and forth from Atlanta to Orlando, I get so used to the route. I'm to the point where I don't need a GPS. I know where I'm going. I just keep it on just in case if there's, you know, roadblocks, uh, construction or whatever, because the Orlando Turnpike, they always have construction going on and they might have the turnpike shut down and you might have to get off or exit it to and then get back on or whatever. So I keep my GPS on. I use Trucker's Path if anybody... Am, I mean, of course, I have the Qualcomm one, but sometimes that Qualcomm is not updated. It doesn't know about any construction going on. Um, and then sometimes it's, it's just old and it'll reboot. Now I'm just lost in the sauce and don't know where I'm at. So I have a uh, trucker's path. Um, I do pay. I think they give you like a, I don't know if it's a week trial, but I think it's like $29 a month or something like that. And you can set it up to where you pay the annual, the monthly, or however you want to make your payment. But I pay for a trucker's path and I really like trucker's path. It, um, it's also a platform for truckers to uh, let you know if there's available spots in certain places and how the showers are, if it's clean or not or whatever. So Truckers Path um, it is a good app to use. I mean, I'm sure there's others out there, but I prefer Truckers Path. Um, what else about this route? Uh, Covenant. Um, so far, I like Covenant. I really wish they had OTR routes um, for solo drivers. Because in that case, I probably wouldn't leave until I, I got my own truck and became my owner operator. I would love to stay with Covenant. 
I know you've heard everybody have their problems with companies. It, nobody's perfect. No company is perfect. But I haven't had any major problems to say I regret coming in with this company or I will not refer anybody to Covenant. Covenant is a good company to actually start with. Um, and it's good to, uh, especially if you're new with no experience, to start with a partner. Um, if you could deal with, you know, space. I like my own space. So I, if I go with another company, it's most definitely going to be solo and I'm going to learn by myself. I don't want to be a partner. That's a no-go for me. The area is already small. Uh, the refrigerator is small, so you got to share that. And there's practically no freezer. Um, but I love my own space. I love not having to worry about, you know, um, you know, nobody else or, or anything like that. Being out here by myself, it took me some time. I was terrified at first now. I was terrified at first, but I've gotten used to it. And um, I'm ready to travel over the road and, and, and make more money. And, and learn more about this business especially if my ultimate goal is to become an owner operator i need to learn more about that over the road because the money is over the road it's not local driving all the time unless you just find a good contract to get some good money locally but i love covenant um i wish i could stay with them for as long as i could um but i'm i'm not i'm out here to make money so uh, that's that's where I'm going. I'm going where the money is. So if I can't get the money with Covenant, I'm going to have to go somewhere else once I reach my year of experience. Um, if I find that company to go to, but I am going to stay with Covenant until I find that company that could fulfill you know all my needs. Um, as a veteran, as, as a, a, um, a wife, I got a whole family at home. Um, so I, PTO is a, is a good thing for me because being able to have vacation time, I need, I, I would like to get paid. I don't want to be over the, off the road and not getting paid because, you know, like I said, them bills don't stop. So I need to be paid well, if I take some vacation time. Um, just somebody that isn't, um, micromanaging. I want to feel relaxed over the road because one of the things of, reasons why I love 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 trucking is that ain't nobody over my back ain't nobody micromanaging as long as you get those people freight there on time and you pick up on time nobody's bugging you that's what I like you know just to be over the road I feel I feel like a business owner now just being over the road nobody's bugging me you just got to be um you know manage your time to be able to get things there on time get up on time do what you're supposed to do take care of yourself over this road um but I do recommend Covenant to people uh, with no experience. They take it with no experience. Um, I do believe if um, you come in with a partner, they have bonuses or whatnot. If you guys want me to refer you, please reach out to me. I can most definitely have that set up and refer you. Um, if you guys have any questions, please hit me up at the bottom in the comment section. Um, and before we go today... Before y'all get off of this page, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Uh, reach out to me again with any ideas or new videos that you would like me to upload on here. Um, but I think that's all I got for you guys other than that. Y'all drive safe and have a good day. Peace out.